Hello guys and welcome back to another video of mine. Uh, Aviation Geek 18 here. And today this is my first ever video. Uh first ever vid video on this channel. Well, me talking to you guys. Obviously I've done the channel trailer and today is the first ever official video of me talking to you about airplanes. So today as you can see, we are talking about the Airbus A350 XWB or Airbus A350 900. Or Airbus A350-1000. We're going to be seeing what are the benefits of this aircraft. And which carriers operate them. And which carriers will operate this aircraft in the future. So this video is of course talking about the Airbus A350. So let's go and have a look at some of the questions I wrote down for you guys. That you may want to know about. So what type of aircraft is it? Uh, it's a passenger aircraft. And uh, it's used for mainly long haul flights, um, but some airlines may decide to use it for short haul, but it's mainly used for long haul flights. Um, uh, how many seats does it have? Well, in a free class configuration, typically between 272 to 280. Uh, which airlines currently operate this aircraft? Uh, now, I'm going to give you the name of uh, the aircraft. Yeah, sorry, the name of the airline, sorry guys, uh, right now, um, so the names are Qatar Airways, Air Mauritius, Air Caribe, Asiana Airlines, Cafe Pacific, China Airlines, Delta, Air China, Ethiopian Airlines, Finnair, Lufthansa, Latam Airlines, Philippine Airlines, Singapore Airlines, Thai Airways, Aircat, Vietnam Airlines, and Air Lease Corporation. Which I didn't know that was an airline, but I searched it up on Google, it is an airline. Um, and um, so, how many orders does it have? So, it currently has, uh, let me find it, sorry guys. It currently has 847 orders, that is, that is pretty good. That is actually pretty good because I'll give you the date of when it was released. So when was it first introduced? Uh, it was introduced on the 15th of January 2015. So 847 uh, orders in two in three years. Sorry, that is pretty good. Which, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, which yes, sorry, which uh, aircraft is it competing against? It's currently competing against the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Um, which carries will equip this aircraft in the future? Uh, so, uh, the airlines that will operate this aircraft in the future are Etihad Airways, United Airlines, Japan Airlines, Air France, China Eastern, China Southern, British Airways. Iberia, Iran Air, Hong Kong Air, CIT Group, Air of Faults, Russian Airlines, Yemen, Yemenia, I don't know how to say, sorry guys, Kuwait Airways, Synergy uh, Airlines, Synergy Group Airlines, sorry, Air Asia X, uh, Air China, Air Lingus, Scandinavian Airlines, Virgin Atlantic, KLM, Libyan Air, Philippines Air, Air Mauritius, Sri Lankan Airlines, and Air Caribes. So, quite a few orders on this uh, air aircraft. Uh, I know the video's just gone, guys. Sorry about that. It's just... Uh, uh, and the last question is, why does it have three letters at the end of its name? Well, it has three letters because it's the name of the Rolls-Royce engines, one of the most fuel-efficient engines, which is why it has so many orders. So, in a conclusion, is it a good aircraft for most airlines? I would say yes, because one, it is very fuel efficient, um, and uh, two, it can hold quite a few passengers. Single aisle aircraft that is very efficient, very profitable for airlines. So I think yes, it is a very good aircraft, and uh, certainly looks quite nice as well. As well, tell me in the comment section uh, below what you think about this aircraft, and uh, yeah. So guys, uh, that is going to be it for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And 
Um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed this video, my first ever vid video on this channel. Hopefully it wasn't too boring. Um, so the Airbus A three hundred and fifty. Um, that's what we were talking about today. Um, if you have any video suggestions I should do next, um, please do tell me in the comment section below. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.